Swamiji, I have a question regarding the corporate world. How can we embed spiritual and social goals into an organization's innovation agenda and processes? How can an organization encourage social responsibility and social entrepreneurship? First, Rafiq, you need to understand life is not capitalistic. Life is neither capitalistic nor communist or socialist. Please understand, capitalism teaches the ownership. Who owns is a big guy. Communism teaches whether you work or not, everything belongs to you. Communism is the way of tamas, means inertia, inertness. Why should you have? Whether I work or not, let me also have. Let us equalize. Then what is really life? What life believes in? Does it believe in capitalism or communism? No. Understand, the major components of your life, like disease, death, contentment, life satisfaction, just like job satisfaction, something called life satisfaction. I wanted to tell you, Important component of life is life satisfaction, which is neither capitalistic nor communist. Life is, principles of life is neither capitalistic nor communistic. Capitalism says, man who has is a big guy. Communism says, everybody is equal. The principles of life says, Man who takes the responsibility has the right to enjoy. That's all. Not man who owns has the right to enjoy. Not the man who can grab has the right to enjoy. No. Man who takes the responsibility has the right to live. Understand? All your questions related to money, all the parts of your life impacted by money, those problems attend with the principles of your country's ism, capitalism or communism. If you are in China and you have a problem about money, you have to find solution through communism. If you are in India, you have a problem about money, you need to find a solution through capitalism, the principles of capitalism. But if you have a problems related to life, health, life satisfaction, happenings of life, whether it's a birth, death, mental health, as I said, the life satisfaction, fulfillment in the life, there are so many things related to life. Those life's principles. If you have a problem related to life's principles, find solution with this truth. Man who takes the responsibility has a right to enjoy. Inner awakening. Stunning health recoveries. 100% cure for depression. Insomnia, asthma, fatigue, chronic pain, insecurity, panic attacks, and other major disorders. 
awaken the kundalini shakti the dormant energy within what would you do if you had 1300% more energy a disease free mind and body is your first wealth claim it at inner awakening inner awakening a 21 day meditation retreat with rare living incarnation paramahamsa nityananda for more information please contact nityananda dhyanapeetam nityananda nagar vidudi bengaluru phone 7760980635はい、my name is Jens Glende. I'm from Germany and I'm a business coach and trainer and I'm here at the July IA in 2012. And uh, we are halfway through the program and the most amazing thing for me so far is uh, really meeting an avatar. Um, I was always uh, hoping to get the chance to to see an avatar and see him in person like a babaji and i never expected it really to happen and it's happening right now and i can really feel and see and experience um that uh, swami ji is an enlightened being and an avatar um the darshans he is giving are um, amazing especially the ones where he is uh, um channeling through the energy of um uh, gods and goddesses um divine beings and just now i'm coming from the yoga class and um after half of the program I, program i can really feel that my body is stretching far more than ever my um uh, weights that i can lift and the strength of my muscles are um, stronger than ever so these are the most amazing effects so far and i'm very much looking forward to the rest of the program well the interesting thing is i can feel energies uh, some energies um when i'm doing other things at home um but i couldn't feel any of his energy so far and yet all the people around me or not all but some of them are levitating and really uh feeling a lot of energies but i'm totally fine with it and i'm fully trusting that i receive everything that i should receive um but yesterday we, we did the first uh, homa i think it's the uh, the word of a fire ceremony and in that one i could feel for the first time really energies coming through me um and today in the uh, in the satsang this morning i could feel for the first time also swami ji's energies when he was really uh, giving it through the room so um there's some development i can feel there yeah i guess this is the best program you can do to really awakening your to awaken your kundalini um if you want to do this of course don't feel pushed but if you check check out swami ji through the videos through his website through the webinars and if you feel a calling or something that really saying i i should go do it uh, do it definitely <laughs> fill out the intention form and it's going to happen at the right time at the right um phase in your life when it's when you're ready for it and when you uh, should should be here and when you're here um i guess um there's no doubt that you will experience the ultimate in terms of awakening your kundalini and getting all the energies that you can get from the vedic tradition hi uh, this is rohan and i've come for inner awakening and by far it has been one of the most amazing experiences of my life everything here is transformational from he's given us that experiences he's given us he's given us that experiences and um, i've realized that now my the duration to which i sleep is like just about 4 or 5 hours before you know like just be like 9 or 10 hours or something there's a quite a reduction and i can see changes happening you know like physically i'm able to do much more this much more stamina increase and a much more peaceful much more calm i can think better and i do stuff in a much more efficient manner like you know like stamina wise only and yes i would recommend this to anybody um it is one of the most amazing experiences that you'll have and you'll never regret it it's a thing that you'll carry on for lifetime it's it's a life changing thing and it changes the outlook to everything you think and how you do stuff i think the modern you should definitely try this in every king because uh, right now in the outside world it is just a rat race of you know academics this that this that that's all so i think if a person of you know around 20 comes and visits uh, takes the inner awakening training then they would actually get a clarity in life they will you know know that they are studying because they want to study they are not studying because they have to study stuff like that, the amount the pressure the stress just gets removed and 
all you do is just study you don't exactly feel the stress you don't feel the pressure so i would definitely recommend this man who takes the responsibility as a right to enjoy this is the principle of life if you have questions about disease desires karma questions related to life why somebody has so much of mental peace some other people don't have it why some people have so much of life satisfaction some people don't have it do you know the most important recent survey happened world's happiest country is india based on the survey by unesco they've done a very beautiful survey taking specimens from all backgrounds giving them a long questioner finally end of the survey they say world's most happiest country means more number of people report life satisfaction for all these questions questions related to life life satisfaction the principle of life need to be understood one more thing i wanted to remind if you want to infuse the life principles into your corporate place in your workplace understand few things first thing you need to know capitalism degenerates into narrow self interest without a strong ethical foundation the capitalism you do not have a strong ethical foundation so rewrite rethink in all your thinking process and evolution infuse responsibility let every person who is part of your organization be told about his responsibility spend at least one hour on making everybody understand their responsibility please understand never think if you take away one hour then the productivity is lost no i am taking every day 5 hours from all my ashramites whoever is part of my sangha whether you are a volunteer or a ashramite or a rishi or a sanyasi every morning i am there with them morning 5 to 10 at least 2 hours i am personally involved where they are physical mental spiritual identities are enriched the physical identity is body mental identity is your thoughts whether depressed or excited the spiritual identity is your consciousness every morning i make sure that they spend 5 hours enriching all the three a corporate company will think oh god morning is the time to work and this swami is keeping them sitting idly till 10 o'clock it is not a right corporate decision no i tell you every morning you are reminded about your life and responsibility let you all achieve experience live express radiate share and explore in eternal bliss nityananda nityananda dhyana peetam nityananda nagar of mysore road biradi bangalore 562109 contact 0974220331 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com/lifeblissfoundation